love putting up our Christmas trees early. I put them up in mid-October and that really works for me because I have a super busy November and December with the business. However, it does pose a bit of a problem on the 31st of October when all the kids in the neighborhood are visiting around for Halloween. Because one of my trees is at our front door and of course it doesn't give a very creepy message when you've got your Christmas tree all decorated at the front door. So I thought this year I'm going to find a way that I can still put my tree up and have the lights on and have it all ready but I'm going to give it a bit of a Halloween twist. Not too complicated, just using a few sort of bits and pieces that I already have for Christmas, reutilizing the stuff that I have and finding a few other inexpensive Halloween decorations that I can use on my tree. So I want to show you what I did and you might find some ideas that are good for you as well. Before I get started, I thought I'd just show you some of the materials that I've got together to make my Halloween tree. I've got some purple and orange ribbon and I've got some fabric stiffener there so I can create curls with them. I've also got some of the very inexpensive Halloween uh, candy decorations and of those are little candy skulls up there. I've got some LED operated tea lights. I've also got a twig wreath, uh, some of the cobwebs with the spiders in them. A couple of shatterproof Christmas balls, I've got an idea for those. I've got crushed black velvet, a witch's hat and a haunted manor sign. So I've made four hanging tree decorations for my Halloween tree. One of them I used a shatterproof bauble and I found these eyeball hook earrings. So I've just cut the hook off and then I've stuck the eyeball to the front of the shatterproof bauble. So that's one of them. I've also found these little candy skulls, which I, I'm assuming you put candy in, but I've actually put a little LED, battery operated LED candle in there. And then I've got these little decorations that the kids wear and I've just cut the neck piece a little bit shorter and therefore made a tree decoration out of it. And the leftover black cord that was on the neck piece, I've then gone and made um, sort of finger, cut finger hanging decorations as well. So let's see how that all came together on my tree. So this is how it's going so far. I've put all of the hanging decorations on that I've made. I've spread out some cobwebs, popped a few spiders amongst them. I've left a couple of areas empty because I have got a plaque and a couple of other things that I want to put in there. But so far, it's coming together quite well. So there is my Halloween tree. I've put on the Haunted Manor sign and I've also added the ribbon. Now to get the ribbon to curl like that, I brushed it with some fabric stiffener and then I twirled it around my broom handle. I let it dry for about half an hour and then carefully unwound it off the handle. And I've put it in the tree and kind of stretched out the curl a little bit. I love my witch's hat tree topper, but I think she's a bit plain and I've had an idea of how I could give her a little bit more personality. So I'm gonna give that a shot now. So there she is, my witch's hat tree topper. I've just put a little bit of curling ribbon and then I've put some black netting and I spray painted an artificial rose black. I feel that now my Christmas tree at the front door is appropriately decorated to participate in all the fun that this Halloween will bring as the kids come visiting and saying hello for trick or treat. I've done uh, some lolly bags in a cauldron with a hand sticking out and I'm sure we're gonna have a lot of fun. I hope you found a few ideas here and that you might be able to use them as you decorate for Halloween.